Hi everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here with Chegg. In this video, we're going to discuss matrices and systems of linear equations. And our example will be to actually solve a system of linear equations using a matrix. The question is to solve the system with the following equations. We have x minus 2y minus z equals 3, x plus y plus z equals 4, and x minus 3y minus z equals 4. Let's carefully work through this solution. This is a really cool way to solve systems. So you start by basically taking your system of equations and putting it inside what's called an augmented matrix like this. You can use parentheses or brackets, I'll use parentheses. And you write down the coefficients. There's really a one here in front of the x, so one, a negative two, and then there's a negative one here in front of the z. And then you draw a line like this, and then over here you put the three. Go to the next equation, so 1, 1, 1, 4, so 1, 1, 1, 4. And the last one would be 1, negative 3, 1, negative 3, negative 1, and then 4. And the goal, okay, the goal is to basically make it look like this. I'm going to write it in blue up here. So something like this, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And then over here, maybe we'll have some numbers like, you know, two, three, and four. So if you had a situation like this, then you would just get x equals two, y equals three, z equals four, All right? Using the same pattern we just used. So if you get something like this, you're pretty much done. So to do that, we're gonna start by making this number a one, which it already is. And now we're gonna make these numbers below the one zeros, like this. We're gonna multiply the first row by negative one, and add it to the second. So we're gonna do negative one times row one plus row two. And then we're gonna multiply the first row by negative one and add it to the third. So negative one times row one plus row three. All right, first row's unchanged. So one, negative two, negative one, and you have your three. And now we're gonna do the operations and there's a lot of mental computation, so it just takes practice. Let's do the first operation. Negative one times row one plus row two. Negative one plus one is zero. That's the whole point. Two, it's really a two because it's being multiplied by negative one. Two plus one is three. One plus one is two. Negative three plus four is one. Again, negative one plus one is zero. Two plus one is three. One plus one is two. Negative three plus four is one. Now we're doing negative one times row one plus row three. Negative one plus one is zero. Two plus negative three is negative one, right? Because it's going to be two, right? Because negative one times negative two is two plus negative three is negative one. One plus negative one is zero. Negative three plus four is one. Wow, there's was a lot of work there on that one. That was pretty tough, let's check that. Negative one plus one is zero. This is really a positive two. So positive two plus negative three is uh, negative one. And then this is really a positive one plus negative one is zero. Negative three plus four is one. All right, good stuff. So the next step uh, is to make the three a one. And we have a couple ways to do that. We can switch the rows or we can divide by three. Let's go ahead and switch the rows. So I'm gonna switch. row two and row three. We're gonna do that next. That's gonna be our next operation. I'll put, uh, I'll just put an arrow here. This will be, so switching row two and row three. So row one stays the same. Very nice. And now instead of row two, we're gonna write row three. So it'll be zero, negative one, zero, one. And then now we're gonna write row two down here, zero, three, Two, one. So all we've done was we switched the two rows. That's one of the row operations you're allowed to do. Let's go ahead and make this negative one a one by multiplying row two by negative one. So we're gonna do negative one times row two. So first and third row are unchanged. The so one, negative two, negative one. We have our line. Multiplying that second row by negative one will give us zero. Negative one times negative one is one, then zero, and then negative one. And then we have that bottom row. All right, now we need to make this negative two up here 
needs to be a zero, and the three down here needs to be a zero. So let's go ahead and make that happen. We're gonna use this one to do it. So we'll do two times row two plus row one. That's gonna get rid of the negative two. And we'll do negative three times row two plus row three. That's gonna get rid of the three. So we're doing the first operation now. Two times row two plus row one. Zero plus one is one. Two plus negative two is zero. Zero plus negative one is negative one. Negative two plus three is one. Again, zero plus one is one. Two plus negative two is zero. Zero plus negative one is negative one. Negative two plus three is one. Keep row two the same. Now we'll do negative three times row two plus row three. Zero plus zero is zero. Negative three plus three is zero. That's the whole point. Zero plus two is two. Positive three plus one is four. Getting there, we have like two more steps and we should be done with this example. So we're almost there. Now we just gotta make this two a one. So we're gonna do one half times row three, keeping those first two rows unchanged. One, zero, negative one. And if you're, want, if you're thinking, this is a ton of work, this is really tough. It is, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a ton of work. It takes a lot of brain power and you, it's, it's long, right? And you, you don't wanna mess up. So one half times row three. So it's gonna be zero, zero, and then the two is gonna become a one and the four is gonna become a two. And to finish, we're just gonna add row three to row one. So we'll do row three plus row one. So zero plus one is one. Zero plus zero is zero. One plus negative one is zero. Draw a line. Two plus one is three. And the rest is unchanged. Zero, one, zero, negative one, and then zero, zero, one, two. So now we can go back to our system of equations, right? Using the coefficients. So this first row, the first row is just one times x. If you really wrote it out, it would be this. It would be one times x plus zero times y plus zero times z equals three. Nobody ever writes this, but I wanted to show you. That's what the first row would look like. So basically it's x equals three. The next one would be y equals negative one. The last one would be z equals two, and that would be the solution to this system of equations using matrices, so it's a very powerful technique. If you're wondering what this means, um, it actually has a very cool graphical meaning. Um, if you take each of these equations and you graph it, it's a plane in space, and so these are three equations of three different planes in space, and all of these planes, well, in this case, they magically intersect in a single point, and that point is an ordered triple, that looks like this. It has the form x, y, z, which in this case is three, negative one, two. That's another way to uh, write the answer in this particular case. So interesting problem, and starting it is not hard. Um, it's pretty easy, right? You just take the coefficients of your equations. So one, negative two, negative one, three, just straight from there, one, negative two, negative one, three, and fill in the matrix, and then just basically turn this into the identity matrix. When you do that, you get your X, Y, and Z. You could stop early. Um, like for example, we could have stopped here. Yeah, we could have stopped here. If we stop here, we get X minus Z equals, well, I, I crossed out that number, I can't read it now. Yeah, we would get X minus Z equals one, Y equals negative one, and two Z equals four. So we could have stopped here and finished. We solve for z, take z, plug it in, get x, and we're done. That would have worked as well. Um, I didn't stop there because I wanted to show you how to go all the way, right? All the way to, to the point where you just have x, y, and z. But in practice, you can stop a little bit early if you want to. So uh, yeah, good luck. And remember, when you're doing these problems, take your time, patience. And if you, get, if you keep getting it wrong, it's okay. You'll get better. It just takes a lot of practice. Even if it doesn't seem like you're making progress, I know because I've been there. I've, I've, I've done these problems. Uh, I've stayed, I stayed up all night once doing problems like this years ago, and I, I just kept getting them wrong. Over time, you get better, right? So keep at it. Anyways, I hope this video has been helpful. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out more videos on Chegg. Good luck.